All right, a first of its kind sports expo is happening in Shakopee this Sunday. It's focused on athletes with limb differences. The local nonprofit Wiggle Your Toes is hosting this free day at clinics, demos, and fun for the whole family. Erin Holm is here. She's with the organization Wiggle Your Toes to tell us all about it. Erin, thanks for joining us again. Hey, good to see you too. Good Thank to you. see you. Um, for folks who aren't familiar, tell them a little bit about Wiggle Your Toes. Yeah, we formed Wiggle back in 2008 after I was injured, suffered a loss of both legs uh, are above the knee, and just realized the uncertainties that come with limb loss and limb differences. And uh, we formed the organization to really support the community that uh, they want to get back, want to get active, want to get back into to life and to family and work and school and things like that. So. More than 2 million people in the U.S. live with limb difference today, right? Correct. And you guys just see that number getting larger and larger. Yeah, it's being driven, obviously, by, by um, vascular issues, diabetes, things like that. But uh, the majority of our population are the individuals that want to be active again, that want to come yeah. out. And, and I think that's what this weekend is really going to prove is to give them an opportunity to see the future. Yep. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about the, the, this event because you, you will do separate events like tip, on a typical year, on a calendar year, you might do these different things separately, but now you're putting it all together, uh, kind of a one-stop shop. Yeah, which is great, because that's usually three weekends, right? In, in the summer, it's really challenging to get a group out there. We'll, we'll do adaptive bike clinic, we'll do the wake surf clinic, and then the mobility clinic, where people have an opportunity to put on running blades and trial them and, and see how they like uh, that, that feel, that movement. And uh, we found a park, Quarry Park, down in Shakopee that is ultra accessible it's just an amazing park though what, what they've done with that and we'll have wake surf going on we'll have the mobility clinic the adaptive bike clinic that courage kenny's going to help out with and and we're partnering with groups like our heroes that's going to be running the wake surf and it's just coming together shields is coming out with some lawn games so if you don't want to oh, run and bike and wake surf you can play bags or some other lawn games so it's going to be kind of cool so there's stuff for everybody to yeah do when there. every gotcha. level of ability i think and how many people that come out to your events, I mean, I realize that this expo is, is the first one, but to your events that that have never put on like a running blade before? Because I've learned so much about it just from, from your yeah. situation. There are so many different legs and so many... I interviewed a guy for your story, Adam, yeah. and he came with a bag, yeah. a duffel bag full of <laughs> different whole bag legs of parts, that yeah. he was yeah. using for different activities. Yeah, Adam's one of our coaches, and that's what's, what's incredible is um, insurance companies don't typically cover running and fitness prosthetics, right? And uh, so for, for them to be able to come out, try one on, I mean, we, we kind of argue within our, our, uh, our board of directors and our community is like, what is better to see that kid run for the first time or see the expression on their parents' faces seeing their child yeah. run for the first time at three, four years old because they haven't had access. So uh, yeah, it's, it's magic, it's really cool. Uh, to, to, to your point about, um, you know, seeing the, the magic and the, the way people's faces light up when they've got this, like, new level of mobility that they've ever had before, I guess I would say if anybody's at home right now and they're like, well, I, I, I'm not... I don't have a limb, limb difference. I don't really have a connection to this. I would say it'd probably be pretty entertaining just to come out and to watch and be able to see people be able to experience some of these things. Or like wake surfing, you know, wh whatever it might be. Uplifting, uh, yeah, too. Yeah, very yeah. uplifting. Yeah, very it is. There's certainly inspiration to be had at, at these organizations or at these uh, events that we host. But uh, even the new members of the community and their caregivers, their family members, like I said earlier, it gives them an opportunity to see the future. They might still be in a wheelchair because they were in a motorcycle accident just weeks ago, but they can come out to this park and check it out. They can see everything that's going on from, from one angle, so it'll be pretty special. Well, I like the accessibility of it, too, because I feel like a lot of people, if you had an accident and you've been uh, on a prosthetic for 20 years, you may not know, right, right. what's available to you. The hobbies that you yep. had, perhaps pre-accident, are something that you've just kind of given up. But to now see that, no, we're working smarter every single day to create limbs that can allow you to do the things you love to do. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's so many options out there, and we're trying to open up that world to our community. Tell me a little bit more about the wake surfing. How, like, how, how will that work? Well, I'm we're not all, thinking about doing it. By the way, <laughs> oh, come on! I think you just kind of signed up, didn't you? Didn't no, you just sign no. Up? I'm, I'm, this is an exploratory question. So, our Heroes Tour is a is a nonprofit in Minnesota that we partner with, and we've done events out on Lake Minnetonka. I think you're seeing some of the yeah. photos right now. But uh, they have a phenomenal volunteer group that that will make it a safe space, make sure the individual is comfortable, and 
all levels of abilities. Somebody sit, you know, sits down, if they can stand up, we have different prosthetics, componentry that we can put on individuals. And uh, yeah, it's just really cool. And, and a lot of people that have lost limbs, especially due to trauma, that used to be very active in the water, they didn't, you know, it's one of those things they think, check the box, I can't do that anymore. Right. right. We'll show them how. Awesome. Uh, if people are interested, um, how would they go about, do they need to register? They or? need to register okay. for sure. We need to be prepared so it's, uh, we create that safe space for them, wiggleyourtoes.org. Uh, and there's an events uh, drop down on, on the menu there that they can register. This well, might seem like a silly question, but I mean, kids all the way up to like grown adults. Absolutely, yep, yep, we cover it all. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, people are always saying, like, well, why don't you try, why don't, you're always like, why don't you try snow skiing? I'm like, well. I know, is that funny? It's like, you try it. No, <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I'm 50, I'm going to break if I fall down the hill. It's got nothing yeah. to do with well, the leg at I'm, all. I'm, and everything to do with yeah. being a brittle old man. But I, I did snow skiing with kids from Shriners yeah, no, I remember. who have prosthetics. Right. And it's awesome to see. I mean, some had a, one girl had a prosthetic arm and she just was out yeah. without poles. Yeah. And one kid was doing cross-country skiing. And yeah. so Seeing you is can believing do it. it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Which is and, great. and we're trying to partner with all the groups and just make sure that they, they can see what's possible. Before we go, is there anything you guys, anything else you have going on this summer? We have a golf tournament at yeah. the Wilds later on. That's more of a fundraising event. We got to raise money because we can't do these free clinics if, if we don't, but that's at the Wilds in August. All right. Awesome. Yeah, thank Aaron, you. Thanks, Aaron. So good to see you. Thanks good for coming. Great to see you both. All right, we'll post a link for you to register to the expo on your favorite website, minnesotalive.com.